say it's video. Oh, hold on. Wait, okay. James, what are you looking for? What are you looking for out here? I mean, if you have anything to do with construction or concrete, you have to be here. This is where new technology is being born, there's new ideas. There is no one specific thing that we're looking for. I mean, testing facilities, obviously, testing equipment for concrete, uh, measuring equipment for concrete that can go in the mud and be attached to the rebar that tells us the moisture, the weight, the temperature. Uh, that becomes critical. Uh, pouring equipment, it's all here. Everything's here. Uh, and it all becomes a part of what this new technology is, is going to do. People have to understand it. We have to have ways of testing it, cutting it, finishing it, all the above. It's all, that, that's what I'm doing here. This here's where they hide the body. The disadvantage is also, that you're, you're paying for somebody else to mix your concrete for you, so you're paying a, uh, you're paying quite a bit more uh, because you don't understand the math and the science behind it. That's kind of what we offer our customers. Instead of forcing them to buy concrete and ship it all the way around the world, or mortar, or sacrete, or geopolymer, or whatever else, uh, we're actually given, we, our scientists are working on the actual formulas and making them available to our contractors so they know what additives to, to add and what to do to get, uh, to accomplish different needs. So that's a very, very significant deal uh, with mud boxes. We give the formula. So other people, they just want to keep selling you the ink, they want to make it easy for you. But shipping stuff all around the world, shipping stuff across the United States, it's expensive. So most of what you need, 80%, 90% Home Depot. Everybody's wanting to know how do we do a top plate. <laughs> there you go, this should do it. So, no, seriously, Simpson uh, Ties has many of the uh, components that are necessary for standard uh, construction connection methods. Uh, put Simpson Ties on top to do top plates, or we can drill directly down in the two halves that we print. Uh, and, uh, you know, these strong ties are great. You don't need anchors or anything else. You just drill a hole pop them down in. So uh, Simpson makes a great product and they're widely used on our job sites. Thing I can't print faster, but the base is carrying the support. Each pass 
so use duration is that create one inch, two inch, three inch, we keep hitting the wall. Exterior and interior walls. One inch at a time. So here James is explaining to the vendor the entire process of printing a house and he needs to understand what the sensors can do for him. Hey, with Mike with ICF, um, this is going to be a very instrumental guide to a lot of you structural civil, civil engineers as you start to look for ways to use 3D concrete printing to create walls that are hollow or to eliminate horizontal rebar, uh, vertical rebar in some uh, cases, synthetic fibers, understanding the different types of fibers, strand length, and how that all works. I mean, for, for most structural civil engineers, that's, out the, that's outside their scope. They, especially in a residential element, they're playing with uh, 500 to 5,000 PSA concrete, not recognizing that in a lot of cases, uh, there's concretes that go up to 50,000 psi. So uh, we, we, we get a lot of questions that we can't answer. We build a printer, it'll print anything that it's supposed to. But when you start getting into the math and science of it, Mike here, Mike is the guy that you want to talk to. And so I just want to introduce him. I want you guys to, to know Mr. Cook and know that you can uh, contact them. They are, they're open to, this is what they do. They help people resolve the math. So. Exactly. I guess with that being said, Mike, what what, yeah. what does your company do? Uh, any kind of fiber reinforcement. We do everything from microfibers up to macrofibers, uh, even some level four structural type fibers. I come from the concrete world. Uh, I sit on three ACI committees, so I'm one of those guys that writes code. If you come to me and ask me a question, I'm going to give you an ACI answer not uh they use my fiber because somebody told me it was good and make up something you are going to get engineering behind it so you know exactly what you're getting so it's all right for me to let the civil engineers know you're trying to design a wall i mean if they can eliminate mortar support inside a wall that means home runs for electrical plumbing Absolutely. everything so there's a reason to do so. Instead of being completely safe, speak to somebody that can actually help you achieve what you want and still be safe. And so I, I can give them the engineering numbers to back it up. Okay. Uh, that's what many of them are looking for. Yeah. So what do you think about concrete printing? Uh, I think it's the way of the future. It's, uh, it's been exciting. It's amazing to see what's happened in just one year. But <laughs> yeah, it's very exciting. And uh, I can see it coming a long way real quick. Hey, Mike, thank you. Thank you. We're going to send a bunch of people to you. Fantastic. Thank Looking you. forward to it.